Hello, hello, my beloved waking gods and goddesses. Welcome to Love, Truth, and Beauty. Do it yourself, awakening for divine in the flesh. Now with replays on IGTV at Dakini.kiss, where together we learn how to surf and navigate the ups and downs of the totality of human experience, composing a new earth beyond the limitations of this perception managed reality matrix of five senses, having discovered our true divine creative natures and then we're true sensual sensorial universe of seven senses creating formless into form. Before we get started, please do give this video a thumbs up. Please also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell selecting the all setting so that when I upload videos, the YouTube will let you know I generally upload Tuesdays and Fridays, 2 p.m. Eastern. My name is Maria West and I am your hostess of the highest here to download, upload, inspire, and usher you into your bestest and brightest selves, your bestest and brightest light, and inviting you all to open your hearts wider and wider and wider still. And oh my God, I think my glasses are like freaking filthy. Okay, hold on moi while I uh, uh, fix that. Okay, hello darlings. I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> I love bugs. Hello honey bunnies, my special babies. Welcome to episode 138 part two of a 13 part video series regarding the levels of relationships from unconscious to conscious in which there are four in and out of the matrix. And this video entitled the matrix reality of the world. Okay. So today's world reflects the unconscious masculine made manifest active in both man and woman even though all that manifests as form in the physical is feminine expression. Yeah, let that sink in. This manifestation process was without conscious intent because the unconscious masculine and feminine disconnected from their divine nature. Gaia and nature. Gaia, another name for the planet Earth. Gaia nature, ever the embodiments of the divine feminine and divine masculine in physicality, remain steadfast in receiving, absorbing, and transmuting the unconscious masculine and feminine energies embedded in the world, that is the matrix, built upon her, our planet, by unconscious man and unconscious woman. Now, in this new millennium that we're in, okay, it's quite the shit show already, we desperately and selfishly attempt to create artifice of the divine's paradise at the expense of nature and ourselves through the matrix, through the globally centralized multinational corporations and government controls and the excessive materialistic appetites of the unconscious affluent elites and the normal humans trying to be just like them, okay? Because we are fed this shit, right? To, to want what we want and the one with the most toys wins, etc., etc., etc. But I digress, okay? And in truth, paradise cannot be created from the twists and turns and manipulations of egoic visions made manifest through war, slave labor, technology, and world commerce. Paradise is born only out of divine love. Men and women, as we are today, we are lost in thought, lost in making and taking things. And we have forgotten about love. We've forgotten about our hearts. We've forgotten about making love. Instead, we are making the world divided and lost according to the programs as set forth by the powers that want to be within the matrix, such that we are obsessed with power or the lack thereof, obsessed with domination or submission, obsessed with war and greed, pain, selfishness, and endless suffering. I mean, look at the various shit shows that we have going on right now within the matrix. Now, when man became obsessed with the making of the world, starting with the Adam, okay, he forgot his divinity and divine purpose to embody and live as the sword of truth, that is, the defender of love, to cherish woman, to love and take care of himself 
of woman, of humanity, of the planet, not the world, through his conscious presence, a deep awareness, an active grounded stillness, in addition to inspired action, and in doing so, he takes care of our planet, he takes care of humanity, he takes care of himself. Now, in contrast, to keep up with man in his mad pursuit of the world, woman also lost command of her true goddess divine nature and fell into the polarity of victimhood. And to ensure the survival of herself and her children, she became obsessed with pleasing man, either real or seducing him to secure her place by his side, only to be replaced by yet another woman and then another and another and another. She forgot that she is love incarnate and dumbed down her divinity to become equally unconscious to unconscious man. Now, woman over the millennia has allowed herself and her children to be victimized and exploited by men in a variety of ways, as expendable targets during times of war, as cheap laborers in the field, and as enslaved commodities of sexual service, pedophilia, mindless gratification, or labor, cheap labor. Sex, by the way, in the Matrix, is the world's substitute for love and our darkest source of wounding. It is a huge, it is probably the biggest common denominator and encompasses the other facets of divide and conquer, power and money. Unconscious men and unconscious women have mistaken sex for love Mistaken sex for making love in their desperation to create beyond paradise. Now, this de-evolution of humanity occurred over many millennia. Okay, so please take a good look at our mind-made, man-built, human-built, via the programming of the matrix and the powers that want to be throughout our world history. Women and children continue to be victimized. And men continue to conquer, whether it's woman, humanity, or the planet. It's still all, all about unconscious men and unconscious humanity and what he wants, what unconscious humanity wants, because he, because unconscious humanity feels and believes he, they are entitled. Okay? This unconsciousness takes the world by trick or by storm and creates the world by trick or by storm. And today the pervasive attitude around the globe, as I mentioned earlier, is the one with the most toys wins or the one with the biggest and baddest weapons, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Now, sadly, modern day woman whose divine feminine essence has been deflated and overtaken by her unconscious masculine is either hell-bent on emasculating men and hating him and teaching him a lesson or allied with the unconscious masculine, adopting his exploitive behaviors and playing his game on her terms. I've recently heard the contemplative question posed what if matriarchy is actually a program of the patriarchy and vice versa? Now, isn't that interesting? I mean, it seems like a ridiculous question, a rhetorical one, but when you think about it, it's a polarity that just, there is no ending, right? So if so, have we all been puppets of this patriarchy, matriarchy polarity in our divisiveness, our resistance, and our unconscious support of our human collective oppression? And are we incapable of true equality and profound respect and reverence for one another? And, and I hear there's good news. So what's the good news? Now, I feel like there is a paradigm shift from the unconscious masculine mindset of divide and conquer into the conscious feminine flow of co-creation and collaboration with the conscious masculine, with the conscious feminine and nature happening right now. And this is the heart-based new humanity that knows and lives from this new paradigm. But here's the catch. The paradigm is out 
side of the matrix and co-created and composed from our center screens, our awakened center. Okay, now uh, one of my favorite haiku poems is this one. It's by Sri Mate, Hiding in the Bushes. That is her name. One heart, one love, we humans opening as love, no one refusing. Now, there's what I call the powerful few. Now, in my private practice of the last 30 plus years, I've attracted thousands of men and women endeavoring to navigate the intense ups and downs and dramas of their intimate relationships. Now, each one, each man, each woman has the blessed task of facing his and her own self-induced suffering. This is the great work. Okay, this is the majority of the great work, which is generated by the closure of our hearts to love, denying of our own divinity, and the resistance to healing those very sensitive places that keep us stuck in pain, stuck in the past, stuck in retribution and revenge, or cut off the, the absolute revenge refusal to love. And part of this opening to even face our closure to love is, once again, as I've mentioned, I'm going to mention it again and again, doing the great work. And when I say the great work, I'm not talking about this little tiny facet of government as being all slavery. People think that's the great work. Bullshit. That is one little tiny facet, okay? The great work the majority of the great work, my friends, is about excavating our mind control and wounding by truly noticing what triggers us in our relative relationship challenges and lessons. Because whether you're in the matrix or out of the matrix, any interaction that you have with anything or anyone is a relationship, okay? Now, the great work is powerful, soul-driven work, and it allows us to practice the moment-to-moment-to-moment spiritual practice of waking ourselves up, seeing ourselves, seeing reality, exiting the matrix, rather than staying. Sorry, I lost my place. <laughs> In a trauma triggered state or trauma bond with another person only to continue the trauma hell of the typical codependent dysfunctional relationship so standard within the matrix now over the years my loves i have mapped out what i see as universal relationship lessons active in all humans and so in part three of this video series i will share my diagram which will guide you and give you an overview as to what i'm talking about now these universal relationship lessons are divided into four levels based upon the energies frequencies and superpower gifts residing in the first four chakras of our seven basic chakra centers so stay tuned until next time. Okay, my honey bunnies, my love bugs, my beautiful divine ones, that is my speech. Do take excellent care of my loves. There's all kinds of like weird shit going on as the powers that want to be in the matrix double down to get us to hate on each other. It's wacky out there. So we need to learn how to keep steady in the awakening process. It's not a one-off deal. And to learn to go stealth, that is learn to waltz in and out of the matrix undetective. And let's all intend from here on out to upgrade and quantum jump all our relationships and exit the matrix system reality, relationship, shit shows. 
All right, my darlings, please help me grow this channel by giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comments box below or in private. I promise to respond to you. Please share this video with your communities, friends and family members and on social media platforms and with folks with whom you feel would benefit from this content. Please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, selecting the all settings so that when I upload the YouTube will let you know. And if you find value, enjoy or benefit from my content and videos, or at least entertained, won't you please consider supporting my work through a donation? My PayPal link is below, as is my link tree that will hook you up with all my stuff and the many different ways that you can connect and work with me, support me, ask questions of me, and learn from me if you want. So I thank you all so much for hanging out with me, with your participation and focused attention. I really do appreciate it. I cannot do this work without you. So until next time, my loves, always act from love, outside of the matrix, from your center screen, composing new reality, quantum jumping all of your lifeline so that you can be the love that you are. You can share your love. You can create. You can make art. You can make music. You can make love. You can help me repopulate the true quantum field creation universe. Here's to love, truth, and beauty, my loves. Mwah!